Here we are on a misty, twisty day in the heart of the most affluent town in the Commonwealth, practically Dover. On the edge of its Dover Sherburn Middle School. And what we're really doing is investigating the tail end of the Charles River Link Trail. That's Farm Street in Dover there. And this will bring us all the way to Medfield through uh, the Medfield State Forest side of the Rocky Narrows squeeze in the Charles River. It's a bit drizzly. And the trail crosses Dover Middle School grounds here and veers down that way. Who knows? How long do you have to be to have a license? I think 16 or 17. Yeah, middle school is like 14, right? Maybe it's for their chauffeurs. Oh my god. So we're gonna head all the way down to these buildings, which is the waterworks complex. And then we'll be disappearing back into the woods. We seem to have a bunch of annoyed raccoons who are getting wet. Pups. So now the Charles River Link Trail crosses some kind of soccer field in Broader Meadow. This is probably still part of the school complex. It's a pleasant little thing. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. We're standing on a high pressure gas pipeline. It's buried a bit though. And this is a bit of cuteness. I wonder what the outcome will be. The Dover Board of Health Lyme Disease Committee Tick study site. This has to be one of the all time great weirdo signs I've run across. You guys all have a whole Lyme disease committee? Yes. Yeah, I think it's like Cold Springs Lab. There's an old major Fed research lab way out on Long Island. So the tinfoil hat circuit is convinced that Lyme disease was concocted there why a country would want to tox its own population with a minor nuisance disease must be left to the imagination, but nonetheless, this is a belief that was formed by some people in America, a place where asinine beliefs and stupid senses of entitlement are formed 24-7. They're spawned like pollywogs. 
militarily would not work. No, it's completely stupid. So here, we cross this meadow, and you can see in the distance a tiny little white that indicates another Nakoni blaze on that tree. So we'll cross this thing. But how interesting is watching video of someone crossing a soccer field. So we'll catch you on the other side. So here we are resuming our traverse of woods. This is a really outstanding little parcel, but then I say that about nearly all the woods because I never met a bunch of woods I didn't like. But that's beside the point. Well, actually, there's probably a few. If it's, if it's been really stopped by idiots, then I'm not as enthused. Yeah. Yesterday, we had the fragrance of Bay Farm, which was the ocean at low tide and it was a nice low tide because that area is relatively pristine then later we went to ashdod down forest and that was pine and today we're getting the absolutely fabulous fragrance of your basic new england lowland river bed hardwood forest Our aging and damaged nostrils have just been treated very well these past two days. And as I've, I covered this particular trail structure last year, the complete other end of it, which begins in Newton Lower Falls next to a rug peddler and this awesome old steel bridge with ornate wrought iron work. Now we're at the extreme other end of the thing, the final stretch where it meets the bay circuit. And the trail designer is one of the best in the business. You really can't say enough good about the quality of his work once well again blazed. yeah and, the, and it's like really beautiful charming blaze designs like this one right here oh that one yeah <laughs> good job maybe the tree bark, bark grew that fast maybe somebody was talking to him yeah. Yeah. It's a beautiful Riparian meadow. Riparian meadow, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. This has got a great boardwalk. We're about to encounter. Mm -hmm. 